Hi everyone, it's Tasha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm always in local thrift shops looking for high-end style home decor for a whole lot less than retail. And this week I'm focused on items that are comparable dupes to items found in some of our favorite high-end stores like Pottery Barn, Amber Interiors, and Crate and & Barrel. And I may or may not also have a giveaway in today's video, so come on and join me for this thrift store dupe challenge. So welcome and come along thrift shopping with me this week. I'm hitting multiple thrift shops as usual and just checking out a little bit of everything to see what I can find. I thought that these bamboo drawer dividers were a really good deal for $6 each. They are usually about $20 each from what I can find online and they expand so they're very useful. I already have enough but they're pretty cool. I found some interesting odds and ends including some different vases. This one um, was kind of interesting but not exactly my style. They were asking $4.99. This is your first pick or pass item for this week. First up, I'm coming up on this lamp. It's right here in the center and it has these two brass shades on it, like this very vintage style. It really caught my eye. It's very different from the rest of them. And I also noticed that the shade portion goes up and down. It was $12.99. Would you have picked this up or left it at the store? I also always find plenty of little objet d'art and this one is just a wooden piece. I thought it was a little overpriced at $4.99 just for a kind of lightweight feeling wooden piece. I also found this really nice mirror. Um, I didn't love the color on this one but I did love the braided frame. This piece of pottery, this bowl with these three little feet was so beautiful. I thought that it was really, really cool and kind of abstract in there. It did have a crack on the underside that I didn't see at first, so I had it in my cart for a while, but I decided to pass. Also like to just keep an eye out on the furniture just to see what I can find. I'm not particularly looking for much furniture right now, and but I did think that this one was kind of pretty with that ornate detail on the edges. I also like this set of candle holders. These were only 99 cents each and I thought about getting these but they did take the wider candles that I don't actually have on hand right now so I left them behind. Your pick or pass item number two is this amazing coat rack. This is definitely a vintage style. It's kind of got an art deco vibe to me. I'm not sure on that but they were asking $34.99. Do you love this or do you hate it? And before you answer, just keep in mind that I did see this super, super similar one over at our house for $600. And it's got a very similar shape. It's finished in different colors, obviously with the black and gold, but the shape of it and the style of it is almost identical to this wooden one here in Trosa Thrift Shop that's $35 versus $600. Would you have brought this home or left it at the store? also like to always look at the artwork. I thought that this one was pretty, although not my style and not needed in my home, but I'm just checking out multiple thrift stores and I did really like this print. It's kind of a vintage print inside there with this basket of apples. They were asking $45.50 for this large picture. I didn't really need it, so I passed. We have tons of iron-on letters. I also found this pinstriped full-sized sheet set for about $4 and I picked that up for our guest room. Okay, now here are more of the items that I brought home this week. First of all, I grabbed these two metal wire lanterns. These were $3 each and they were a little bit weathered. You can see that they probably used to be more of a solid black. They're just a little weathered looking. The candle holders in the center are a little bit rusty, but I know that these cost quite a bit. This similar style at Crate & Barrel, although admittedly more of a modern linear style, is 69 for the 17 inch and then 49 for the 12 inch high. The two that I have are 12 inches. So I'm just gonna take both of mine outside and give them a nice coat of this high performance enamel spray paint in matte black. This stuff is just really rich, really dark, and it scratches a lot less easily than regular spray paint, so I like to use this on metal. This already looks so much better just with a fresh coat of paint. They don't look old and weather-worn anymore. They look like I maybe just purchased them, so I'm really happy with them so far, but I think I might snazz them up even more 
by trying to accent the handles somehow. So I'm gonna be thinking on that while they dry. Now, after I'd given these two coats of black paint, they look so much better. So I just brought them inside and I thought I might wrap the center portion of the handles. And I have two options in my craft drawer. I have this kind of thicker white cotton cord or I have this more rustic actual twine. And it was a tough choice, I went back and forth, but I ended up going with the twine just because it might get a little less dirty looking outside or at least kind of slower than the wider cord. So I just attached a little bit of hot glue along the back side, wrapped it snugly, and finished it up with a dab of hot glue on the other end. And I think that this just adds a little bit of interest and personal touch um, to these. They would be pretty obviously in just the black. I like them before, but I just wanted to kind of spruce them up a little bit and make them my own. This is the designer version versus the thrift, $49 versus $3, both the same height, both outdoor candle holders. I think I did pretty good. So another thing that I brought home this weekend was this small ceramic pitcher. This ended up only costing me 49 cents. It wasn't marked, so when I took it up, that's the price they gave me on the spot. So I thought that was fantastic. It's this little two-toned kind of gray and beige pitcher, and I thought that it was so sweet. I'm gonna compare this one to this pitcher from Amber Interior Shop. This is the Belle Petite Ceramic Pitcher, and it is slightly larger than mine, and it's also handmade. It's beautiful, definitely, but it is $108, and so I'm comparing mine to that, and I just have mine styled here alongside this other vase. You could totally do it without any florals in it, just kind of sitting alongside something else in the kitchen. So for $108, there's this one inch taller. Mine was 49 cents. Now the next thing that I brought home I thought was a really good find. Okay, I got a quilt from Goodwill from the bin. And I'm just showing you some quilts here on Etsy. Handmade quilts can really get up there. It totally depends on the vendor, the style of quilt, you know, how old it is. So this is just some examples when I'm typing in on Etsy. But this is the quilt that I found. That's my husband holding it up for me on the left and a close-up of one of the squares on the right. I saw this and thought it was so pretty. It's kind of hard to find. A neutral quilt that isn't you know really bright especially when you're talking about a twin size which is what this is and so I thought that this was so so pretty love the colors definitely brought it home it was in the bin where all the linens are just one set price and so for blankets it's four dollars and nineteen cents and so that is what I got it for and definitely it would be worth you know over a hundred I don't actually have a direct comparison shot for you on this because they all vary so much but I'm just gonna mark this one down in my book as really, really good deal and very glad that I found it. And while I'm in this room, I get asked about this rug. This is the Margot rug by Laloy. It's an antique sage. It's very soft. It's linked in the captions below. These bear baskets were from the thrift shop a while back, but they're also available on Amazon, which I can link. And I just picked up this darling tray from Ross Discount Store for only $6.99. Another item I picked up this week was this shallow little small ceramic dish. I think it's pretty. I like the porous look of it and how it's on just this little stand. It was a dollar and fifty cents. I'm not sure where it's from, but I thought that it was just really pretty and it could be used for multiple, you know, multiple purposes really. But I think I'm gonna sit it beside the sink and it will be the perfect spot to sit my piece of steel wool um, that I like to use on the outside of some um, pans, stainless steel pans sometimes and just to kind of make that look a little neater. So I think this was definitely worth the dollar fifty cents. I'm comparing this little bowl to the small van bowl sold at Amber Interiors shop. And these are really pretty as well with this little speckle throughout them. And they're kind of marketed to kind of have a set of them, but they're sold individually. I think that it's really beautiful, but for $32 each, I'm very happy with my little dish for a dollar and fifty cents. So I got this ceramic pie dish at the thrift store just now for $3.50. Um, I just love the, the color scheme on this. It will look so nice with any pie. It'll just give it that kind of rustic charm. Best I can tell, and I'm not sure you'll be able to make it out in the camera, but I think it says Bell Ceramics 1976. I just think that that's pretty cool. This is a solid piece that will stand the test of time and for $3.50.
I'm comparing this pie dish to this one sold at Pottery Barn. This is a new item, but it is handcrafted for $85 and also to this one from Foundation Goods called the Hadley Ceramic Pie Dish that's 10 inches. This is that one versus mine. Theirs is $60 and again, mine was $3.50. I feel like I got a pretty good deal there. So for those of you who have stuck around towards the end of the video, I do have another giveaway for you today. So I came across this beautiful three-tier jewelry stand from Pottery Barn a couple of weeks ago. I don't actually have a spot for it myself, but I thought that it would make a really good giveaway item. It does have three tiers. The top two have the little holes around the edges where you can put your earrings and I can easily take this apart and ship it to someone. So if you would be interested in winning this jewelry stand, all you have to do is hit like and then also leave me a comment in the comments below letting me know that you would like to win the jewelry stand and do use the phrase jewelry stand because I'm going to be filtering for that phrase in order to choose a winner. Make sure that you subscribe so that you will see next week's video, which is April the 23rd, and see who wins. I will post the winner at the top of the comments on that video. I also just want to give you a heads up that I'm going to be having some kind of exciting videos coming up. If you're someone who has kind of outdated finishes in your bathrooms or in your kitchen as far as your cabinets or your countertops, you wanna to subscribe to the channel and follow along because I'm gonna be doing some very budget-friendly DIY makeovers on my bathrooms and my kitchen coming up very soon. I'm very excited to show it to you, but I have to wait until it's all done. So go ahead and hit subscribe if you have finishes like this that you would like to give a fresh look to for a very small amount of money. You're gonna to wanna to stick around. That about wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like, hit subscribe, and leave me a comment letting me know what you enjoyed. In the meantime, have a great week, and I will see you at the next video.